Can you tell us more about the First Avenue Elementary School in Newark? And obviously, you're super concerned about equity. Is this something that is replicable that could scale? Well, so I love Khan Academy, but it was mostly used by motivated students. And so for the last, I think it's like eight years, they've been saying, okay, how do we get into the classroom? How do we work with the teachers, explain the stuff? You know, yes, the computers, the internet stuff is getting more pervasive. The pandemic actually helped a bit with that. So Saul and I were amongst the first two people who OpenAI was nice enough to let us mess around with early chat GPT-4. And a lot of the cool things like having it uh, write songs and poems, actually Saul taught me that stuff. I was like, I wouldn't have known to ask. <laughs> it can write like Shakespeare? <laughs> yes. Wow. Uh, and so he you know, has put a lot of con resources in. He gets support from the Gates Foundation and many others, has created this con amigo. And he, last school year, he had it uh, in a small number of schools, but including this New Jersey, Newark, New Jersey school. And so I went there to meet the teachers, to meet the students and see, you know, so you meet a kid who clearly is ahead of his class. And sort of the factory-based model of, you know, 30 kids in a classroom, you definitely have a problem where you need to do remediation and catch kids up, but it also you're also pained by that kid who's ahead, you know, and maybe checking out or being dis disruptive. And yet, you know, you'd think, wow, we want to drive that. So the personal tutor aspect allows that student to sometimes be off on his own, sometimes helping the other students, and this, you know, con dashboard along with the con amigo, which is seen, you know, so when you walk in and you're a teacher in the morning, instead of people handing in homework and you have to deal with it, you just go to your dashboard and say, okay, who connected in last night? How many hints did they need? How far did they get in the progression? Uh, and, you know, you, you're giving feedback, you know, you can have the parents connected up to that. Even the thing where a paper gets turned in, you don't turn in the paper, you turn in the AI session. So you can just say to the AI, okay, how much did the student do? Uh, what's your suggestion on uh, how we get them to either help with the first draft or help with the the grammar or the, the, the logic? So it's great to see it being there and seeing it in person reminded me of embedding it in and always with teachers, whenever you have some new thing, there's maybe 10% of the teachers that latch on to it and you get these great results. And then when you tell the other 90%, you must use this, those results almost always just disappear. Uh, and so, okay, how do we make this one, one that, that scales, you know, so that humility of how far we haven't come is even with AI, we ha we'll have to do that. But I, what I saw made me even more optimistic.